So today I'm going to show you how to make an extremely fashionable pair of fawn hooves. Fashionable, of course, being if you're a deer. So I started by getting a secondhand pair of high heels, and then I cut a half moon shape out of some Wonderflex, and it's about two inches bigger than the front of the shoe on either side. So when you wrap it around the front, the edges should come right down to the base of the shoe, and then there's excess, which will be used to make the hooves out of. So I cut two pieces, two of those half moon, one out of standard Wonderflex and one out of Wonderflex Pro, just to see what I like better. So I heated the standard Wonderflex up in my oven and started shaping it into a fawn hoof. And then once I had the basic shape, I let it cool and I cut out the center so it would fit over the shoe better. And then I trimmed off the excess off the sides as well, and that just fits right over the front of the shoe. Then I did the same thing with the Wonderflex Pro, but I decided very quickly that I didn't like that as well because it was actually too soft and it formed too much around the shoe so it didn't really look like hooves. So once you've got a cardboard form set up, you're probably going to want to use regular Wonderflex. So here's the standard Wonderflex and the Wonderflex Pro. Again, the standard Wonderflex is definitely far superior shape because it's more rigid. It just kind of slides on there better. So then you just want to glue your Wonderflex hoof onto the front of your shoe and then give it a coating of glossy black paint. And this is another area where I liked the standard Wonderflex better because the standard Wonderflex had um, the bumps in it and the Wonderflex Pro was too smooth. So I like the bumps, it looked like real hooves. Then I also painted the heels in the back. Um, usually most people break the heels off, but for me, I figured I better leave them on so I didn't kill myself walking in them. You can break yours off if you want. So then I took a three inch piece of fake fur that I found at Joann's. And that's long enough to go right around the bottom of the shoe. So just put a little glue on top of that and on top of the Wonderflex as well. And lay the fur right over that. And when you're laying the fur, you want to make sure that you keep it loose enough so that your foot can still slip inside of it between the fur and the shoe. And so then put some more glue on the back part of the shoe. Wrap a smaller piece of fur around that, and then finally put some glue on the last open spot and put another three inch piece of fur over that. Again, making sure it's loose enough so that your foot can slip right in. You want to be able to wear these afterwards. So glue everything down, but keep it loose enough for your feet to go in. So here it is, and there's plenty of space to slip my foot in through the shoe. And so then you want to paint the high part of the heel because you'll be able to see that when you're walking if it's not painted. So paint that to match whatever color your fur is, in my case black. And so again, the standard Wonderflex looks a lot better than the Wonderflex Pro here. And so then get some fluffy socks to wear with these if you have them, and some tight leggings, and you've got a pair of fawn hooves. The only problem is these are almost impossible to moonwalk in.